Hello everyone, today in my lab I have oscilloscope and Tektronics model 465 and this is a very old analog oscilloscope I bought this about one year ago for about $60 uh, as untested mm, This oscilloscope have some problems so let me show you I turn it on it seems that it works multimeter module works some lights turn it on but nothing on on display here is a beamfinder button this helps us find trace on display but nothing is visible scale illumination is working intensity knob should show us beam on CRT but it looks like this oscilloscope have some internal problems with uh, CRT power section or, or something other so uh, so let's open it and check out what the problem may be and we'll try to fix this okay <clears throat> this is a bottom board of this oscilloscope and it contains some power sections uh, power supply or and power section for CRT and the first thing that we need to check is it's a voltages from power supply so here we have some test points, this is a ground test point and some test point that we can measure voltages that is produced by power supply. I checked out this before and all of these voltages are in tolerance range, so voltages are correct uh, and th that is mm, that means that the, the power supply is working correctly and powering other sections so we need to check out next modules mm, and find where the problem with uh, powering probably the CRT exists this is a service manual for the Tektronix oscilloscope and here we can find schematic of the power section of the CRT and uh, the most interesting part for us is uh, that section and as I said before I have a problem with that fuse and we can have uh, two possible faulty elements one of them is that transistor and second one is that capacitor so we need to figure out which one of them is faulty and replace it and check if that helps with our problem after looking at the schematic uh, we can find that the first element on the power section CRT power section is a fuse mm, this is that fuse and it's blown up and when I replace it uh, it's blown up again so somewhere is a short to the ground and we need to find that find it and and eliminate it so in, in the schematic there is a two possible elements that uh, may be the source of this short uh, one uh, of them is a transistor Q1418 
and the second element is a capacitor uh, C1419 uh, so you can see that uh, one element is already replaced mm, this capacitor the original one was was that and I replace it with uh, uh, that electrolytic capacitor and uh, this help with uh, with a short circuit problem and uh, the fuse I I isn't uh, blowing up uh, anymore so this problem um, is solved. Uh, another element that uh, in other situations may be the problem it's a transistor. Uh, it's hide, hide behind that uh, metal elements and this is uh, the that three wires that is to the um, transistor. Um, so with multimeter you can check this transistor if it's causing the problem or if not the second possible element within this problem is uh, the electrolytic capacitor that I already replaced uh, so now I can I power up this uh, oscilloscope and uh, we will show uh, what is the result with replaced mm, the, that element? Just one more info about uh, capacitors. The original one, um, that blue one, uh, 47 microfarads. Temporary, I replace it with an electrolytic capacitor just to check if it uh, solved the problem. But finally, I plan to replace it with uh, tantalum capacitors let's power it on now nothing is visible on display but we can use beam finder and it's working Probably some in intensity is too low, yes. This oscilloscope probably needs some more tuning, but uh, uh, the main module is working so our capacitor replacement was successful and this quick fix costs about half dollar for full capacitor and we have fully working very good Tektronics 465 oscilloscope so thanks for watching and see you next time.